Objectives for today to solve mixture problems. The learning targets are defined and use percentages and to use proportions. Example number one. A 900 milliliter solution of acid in water contains 15% acid. How much water needs to be added in order to make A 9% acid solution? In other words, in this jar over to the left, you have 9% acid. That means the other 91% is water. But you want to add more water to this container such that the acid is no longer 15 percent it only makes up 9 percent. It's still the same amount of acid except if you have more water it becomes less of a percentage of the total volume in the container. So your first step in solving this is to do the following find out how many milliliters of acid are in the container to start with. So that would be 900 multiplied by 0.15 which is 15 percent. 900 times 0.15 is 135 milliliters. Now we want that 135 milliliters to be only 9 percent of the total of the contents of the container which means we have to add more water to it but we don't know how much. We do know that 135 milliliters will stay the same in terms of acid. We don't know what the total contents will be yet. But we know that we need the acid to be 9 percent of that contents. 9 over 100 is 9 percent. When you set up this proportion you cross multiply to get 9x equals 13500. 13, Divide 13500 by 9 and that will give you 1500. So the new contents of your container, the total amount of contents, acid and water combined, will be 1,500 milliliters. We started with 900 milliliters. So you subtract to find out the difference, and that would be 600 milliliters. And that means you have to add 600 milliliters of water in order to make that 15 percent acid solution down to 9 percent. Example number two. A 515 milliliter solution of acid in water contains 12 percent acid. How much water needs to be added in order to make an 8 percent acid solution? Step one is to find out how many milliliters of acid do we have if we have 515 milliliters total of acid and water and 12 percent of that is acid. So 515 times 0.12. 515 times 0.12 is 61.8. 61.8 milliliters of acid. Now that represents 12 percent of what's in that container now, but what we want to do is make it 8 percent. That means we must add water to the container. So 61.8 must be 8 percent of some higher number which is on the bottom represented by X cross multiply to get 8x equals 6180. Divide 6180 by 8 and come up with 772.5. Now that is the total contents for the new container. It could still be the same container, you're just adding water to it. But we started with 515 
milliliters. So we must subtract that 515 to come up with 257.5 milliliters of water that must be added to make this go from 12% acid to 8% acid. Practice number one. A 950 milliliter solution of acid in water contains 11% acid. How much water needs to be added in order to make a 7% acid solution? The solution for the practice problem, we need to figure out what 11% is of 950. So 950 times 0.11 is going to give us 104.5 and that is milliliters of acid. Now we have to figure out instead of this being 11 percent of this number we want it to be 7 percent of another number. So 104.5 over X equals 7 over 100. Cross multiply to get 7X equals one zero four five zero that's ten thousand four hundred fifty and when you do the division you'll come up with an answer of one thousand four hundred ninety two point eight five seven one four three that is going to be the total volume of the new contents so let's trade that number up here, 1492.857143, and subtract from that 950. We will come up with 542.86 milliliters, and that's how much water must be added. Practice number two. A 1,120 milliliter solution of acid in water contains 5% acid. How much water needs to be added in order to make a 3% acid solution? The solution for the practice problem. We need to figure out how many milliliters of acid is 5% of 1120. So 1120 times 0 .05. 1120 times 0 .05 is 56. That's 56 milliliters of acid. Now instead of 56 milliliters being 5% of 1120, we want it to be 3% of some higher number. So 56 over X <coughs> equals... 3 over 100. Cross multiply to get 3x equals 5600. And when you divide 5600 by 3, you come back with 1866.66667. And this number is what we must transfer to here. It's the total amount in milliliters of the new contents and subtract from that 1120. When you take away 1120 you come back with 746.67 milliliters of water that must be added.